my message to that I want to focus on the men. First of all, let me clarify something. My message is for everybody to fear God and respect the men. Because when you fear God and respect the men, there will be peace in your home. There will be peace everywhere. When I said that God did not make mistake in creating the men first, Almighty God did not make mistake. I want to tell the men today, every man listening to me today, after listening to me, if you did not watch me live, later you pick up this message, try and send it to other men. Because this message, when you take my advice, in your old age, you will not see pain. You will not regret listening to me today. I want to talk about men taking care of themselves. Taking care of yourself. Men should take care of themselves from now on. That is my message. Every man, listen again, the topic today that men should take care of themselves from now on. As you're training your children, as you're building houses, as you're paying house rent, as you're taking care of your everything, your affair, take care of your old age. Ask me why. Why are men dying before 60 years after retirement, after acting service? You never ask yourself. Why do men have stroke? Why do they have stroke? After 50 years, after training their children, after when their children must have graduated from the university, they have stroke. Why? Because you did not listen. Because you did not look at what happened to your father. And let me clarify something. Because of the love we have for our mothers, we don't believe that mothers tell lies. This suffering that you are suffering in your marriage now has been there for years, but you did not see it. The love of mother closed your eyes. You did not know that your mother is among these modern women. Look at in the villages, so many fathers, they die. How did they die? You don't know. Everybody concentrate on their mother, especially those in abroad. When you come back, you pack everything, give to your mother. Your mother will be the one now to give to your father. You don't know what your daddy is suffering. In, in your, you are there, but you don't know what your daddy was suffering. Now, I want to take, tell you now to take care of yourself. Why? As you're saving money now, as you're working, any work you're doing now, little work, big work, start saving one, one naira for your old age. So that by that time you will get old, you will not depend on your wife, on your children. Don't say, oh, my children is good. I have a good wife. For now, you have a good wife for now. Let me ask you a question. Why did uh, uh, Satan tempt Eve, not Adam? They can't get men. Men are wise. Satan don't get men easily. They use women to destroy men's life. That is why you see so many men are secretly crying because of bad wives. Even now, you have a wife, oh, but you don't know who your wife really is. All of you. It's not because you're a fool. And those of you who married the bad wife or the wife have started to show that bad character, that does not mean that you have failed. And that does not mean that you made a mistake. No. Women have been like that for years and people do not know. I beg you now, my message today is for you to take care of yourself. Package yourself very well. Take care of yourself. Look at women. They are always happy. Sweet mothers everywhere. Sweet mothers everywhere, they are taking care of this, they make their hair, even in suffering. The man will be suffering, you know, thinking of how to buy a motor, thinking of how to build a house, thinking of how to pay school fees. Before 50, the man will have white hair. Mama will dress well, make her hair, rub better cream, wear better clothes. You see men, they wear tattered clothes. They are the one making the money, you But my pain and why I am telling all of you life now is that, so that you don't suffer what your father suffer. You don't know what your father suffer. You don't know. Because all, all the men hate themselves. Men don't talk to each other. How many times did you go to your father? How many times did you go to your father and say, Ah, daddy, how are you? How are you fairy? Everybody is mama, 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 mama. Because of the love 
of her mother. We ignore the men. So many men died crying. People did not know. Your father, you don't know how, if your father is late, now you don't know how he died. You don't know. You don't know what he passed through. If you still have a father, you have opportunity to go back and take care of your father and ask him some questions. You will see that what you're passing through, your, dad, your daddy has been passing through the same thing. My advice for you today, as you're taking care of your wife and your children, take care of yourself as well. Save for your old age so that your life will not depend on anybody. So that by that time, if the children fail or if the wife fail, you will see where to fall back at. You will see where to fall back so that you will get some some money and some hope to eat. Especially the ones in men in Nigeria. The ones in overseas that have some facilities, they may remain there. But let me even ask you again. You will say, oh, my wife is good, he loved me so much. All the divorce you see started with honey sweetie. All the bad wife you see today, they have been a good wife. Pretending. Men do not pretend. Women pretend. They will hate you, they see pretend. When you offend them, they don't forgive easily. Are you, are you listening? What I'm telling you, they pretend. Men are not like that. Men are honest. 80% of men take care of their homes. They take care of their wife from their heart. They give their all. They give everything up just to take care of their wife and their children, just for them to be happy. At the end of the day, what did, tell me their reward. Stroke. Stroke. They have stroke. You don't know. Some of them are shaking. They retired men and bad government. Look at bad government, including especially the ones that they, they have pension. Government fail them as well. That is why I say take care of your old age. Nigeria government will fail you. Ask people. They will say that and bring social paper before you collect pension. And they know that you will not get that paper. So they use that one to disqualify you in old age. When that woman will brainwash your children and begin to tell them, and you know that every child, even you listening to me, even if your baba, your mother is still alive, you still believe your mother. You don't know the mother still lies. When they will sweet talk to you, everything your daddy do, they, they know how to manipulate their children. They know how to manipulate children. Even if the children is Obama, even the child is Baba, this Buharena, if the mother is still alive, you know how to manipulate their children. And they capitalize on the love of children because the children, every children love their mother. They capitalize on that and finish the men. God bring me to this world to tell the men the truth and to to tell, open the eyes of the men so that God would have told me that men, so many men die in pain. They die secretly in pain in their own home. People did not know. In the village, you see them, they gather one place. When they talk among themselves, they go back separate. Nobody know what they are passing through. You listening to me, don't say I am wise. It's not by wiseness. It's not by I'm doing a good job. And again, remember that why you married is because of your old age, so that you can find peace in your home. Your mother will not be there at that time. Your sisters, those ones, people helping you will not be there in your old age. Me, I will not be there. I don't know when I will die because my message in this world, I have a very limited time to live in this earth. I'm telling you, my message is to talk about men, the marginalization of men. I beg you, as you're listening to me, take care of yourself so that you will not have high blood pressure, so that you will not have stroke, so that you can live long. Tell me again, old women everywhere, landladies, who, who are the landladies? How many of them buy house? Na baba house, oh. Na man get that house where you dey here, na landlady. Landlady, my landlady. Who, where the baba, where get the house? Where the baba, where build that house? Where is that baba? The baba don't die 30, 40 years ago. Mama see the, the only sickness mama have is only leg pain and waist pain. You will see mama play play, mama go they go, mama go they leave, mama go they go, mama go reach 108. Babanko, how old baba the day he dies? How old, ask yourself, all the baba, even the ones who still their life, their leg is shaking, they are walking slow motion. The babas who still their life. See, this Bible, how we came. I speak it in Hebrew. 
This Bible is my strength, is my power. When I talk, I'm telling you, listen to me. Men, I beg you, especially the young men, you will not understand. If you did not hear me now and save for your old age, if you did not listen to me now and take precaution for your old age, you will remember me in the night. That time I must have gone. You will remember me in your old age. You will remember one woman, Jenfeli Sobona. You never asked her, have you seen me before? No. I just entered Facebook this year. Have you seen me before? No. My message is for men to take care of themselves. Men are suffering. The Nigerian men have been suffering for years and years. They have been dying quickly. I don't want the men to die again. I want men to be happy. I want all the men in Nigeria to be happy. She understand. Well, yes, somebody sent me that some mothers are trying. Yes, we have some good mothers. They are minority. Mothers are their minority. The good women, they are minority. When you talk of percentage, when, like in Nigeria, now you say people are suffering for Nigeria. Majority are suffering. We are talking of men who die quick. They are majority. That is when you talk about majority. Men who die quick, they are majority. That is what I'm saying. My message is for you to take care of yourself. Package yourself very well. Look neat for yourself. Because even when you ignore yourself, before you know it, your wife will leave you. Follow, follow fine boy. You never ask. What did I do wrong? I give her money. I take care of them. Because now you're not taking care of yourself. You're now old. Past your age. When you grow old, past your age, the woman will say, this Baba self. You will not be seeing you as Baba. Baba who no know how to romance. Baba who no know how to take even that one. You, you, she, you have given her money, you, you have sacrificed everything for your family. Now, the woman will be seeing you as Baba. The woman will be seeing the, the, the other side of you that you are, you are, you are, you, you know, fit them again. Because the gap is too much you now. Because, because of softness, you have grown pa old past your age. She begins to look for a fresher man. That is why it's compulsory for you to take care of yourself as even now as you are working save and have a secret some men do not have a secret have secret for yourself have secret for yourself not everything you tell your wife everything you tell women no reserve something for yourself use it to hold yourself she understand i see odenaka uh, uh, i have seen your question he says some men are busy cheating. How many women have caught their husband cheating? I saw your question. Some to Odenaka. Tell me how many women who have caught their husband cheating? They are just imagining it. Some of them are imagining that their husband is cheating. They never catch the men cheating. Somebody, he be like, say, they, he get your friend, as he they behave. You never catch your husband cheating. Women are using it against the men. Stop accusing the men. When you did not catch your husband, stop accusing him. Concentrate on training your children. My message is for every woman to fear God. My mission in this world is to groom a better wife, a better guest. And women again, going to school do not give you a right to challenge your husband. They send you to school for, to be a better woman, not to challenge the men. Men and women, they are not the same. Don't do what, even if I caught my husband cheating, I will not cheat because my husband is cheating. Even if somebody tell me now that they see my husband somewhere, I will not go there. That is, they say. And the women, they say uh, some men will pay, uh, they will give money uh, money to other women, they will not take care of they are, That one is a very few men. No real man, I'm telling you again, no real man will abandon his family and go and pay for, uh, give guests or uh, this thing and leave his home. No. 90% of men take care of their wife and children, they sacrifice for their children. You people should stop blaming them of cheating. Even let me tell, let me tell you the word straight. Let me clarify it. Men are weak in that area. In terms of following, uh, having your area your side. Don't use it to join the men. They are weak in that area. 
men are weak in that area. It's not easy for a man to be sleeping with one woman year in, year out. Some of them are trying. Even when your husband did not sleep with you at times. When your husband did not sleep with you two months, three months, that does not mean he do not love you. He loves you. But he's tired of that place. Give him some space. When he recover, you come back to you. That does not mean they are cheating. Women use it to accuse them. It's not easy. A man to be sleeping with one woman monthly, 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 year in, year out. It's not easy for men. Go and ask men. If women, if you're listening to me, ask your brothers, ask your schoolmates. It's not easy for men to sleep. Man and woman, they are not the same. Woman can sleep with her husband for the rest of her life. Man is not like that. But whereby your husband did not cheat on you, did not see him, did not carry any woman in your presence, you are just accusing him, using that one to give him trouble. I beg you, if you say you fear God, my message is for you to fear God and respect the man. That is my message in this world. My message in this world is for every woman to fear God and men to fear God as well. And respect the man because when you respect the man, I'm telling you, your children must follow the full step. All of you, all the men in Nigeria, who are, tell me who is in your house? Your wife, brother, your wife, sister, your mother-in-law. In your home, they are in your home. You are the one feeding them. You are the one training them. Still, women are still complaining. Tell me what is love. Nigerian men have shown the true love. Tell me what is love. When you say your husband is cheating. The man have shown all the love. Some women called me after my video and said, Madam, eh, they don't send a sweet, sweet message to us. They don't send a, eh, they don't call us and tell us romantic word. Eh, but if not their babe, they will call them and send them sweet, sweet message. I want to tell you what is definition of love. A man married you, paid your diary, do wedding for you, put you in his house, carry your mother, carry your whole family. Your mama died, you bury him. Your papa die bury him. Your family, they, they seek, they go pay. Your community, they do something. You will drag the man, the man will go and get involved. But when the man, my man die, your family may not even come. Tell me what is love. The man has shown the whole love he knows. Since he don't know how to write that sweet, he leave, forgive him for that. Since the man don't know how to write those sweet, sweet, uh, they don't use it to condemn him. Let that one be the sacrifice you have to uh, uh, give for the marriage. The, the man has shown the whole love. Look at in your home. How many of your brother is in your home? I'm asking the men. How many of your brother? How many of your brother or your family is in your home? Now your wife's sister, your wife's brother, your wife in law, your wife cousin, 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 niece. They are all of them in your home. You're training them. You're sending them money. Even if the one you don't know, secretly your wife will send money. Even the food you carry rice, you give the family. When your own family come close, oh, they will use fabricate story again and pursue all of them. Men love the women more than the women love the men. That is my message. Men, start taking care of yourself. Because I don't want to deviate from what I'm telling the world now. The message is for men to start taking care of yourself. Package yourself. Use better perfume. Buy better clothes to wear. Shine, rub better cream, fight better cream and rub, and be a neat man. So that you have a good health. I'm talking about your health. So you will not have high blood pressure or stroke and die. I don't want Nigerian men to die suddenly again. I want them to live long. After this message, send it to them. Let them know. Let them stop judging the men. Let them stop judging them. They cheat. They cheat. They do this one. Which cheat? The man married and give you name. You see, they cry. They cry for you. You're with that side. Within your yuri yuri, a passerby, a passerby, who, and this one, you're having that man name. You're having that man name. Eh, oh no, Virginia. My brother, I said it before, that if you're looking for a wife, some of you have seen a good wife. Because you're looking for a, uh, some package, that package will deceive you. It will land you for commotion. If you see a good woman, you know. All of you know good women. But because that good woman at times do not have some of the things you require, some of those things, I say, but that thing will fade. That thing will fade. Stop looking at those materials. All this thing is fake. This thing will fall. Even if you know fall, you will get tired of Oshodoke and uh, and uh, Chelsea and Baka. 